In Romans chapter 14, Paul is dealing with one of the greatest challenges in the church. You know what one of the greatest challenges in the church is? Me, you. It's this dynamic that when you put two people in a room, it's very easy to become critical, to be one who even condemns or looks down upon or starts to pick on somebody. So in Romans chapter 14, he's encouraging the early church to accept one another, to forgive one another, to, to major in the major, not major in the minors. Let me read to you Romans chapter 14, starting in verse 10, where he says, why do you condemn another believer? Why do you look down on another believer? Remember, we will all stand before the judgment seat of God. See, there's this beautiful truth in Romans chapter 14 that the person that we'll stand before, the one that really has the right to judge, is God and God alone. We don't live our lives for the audience of others. We live our lives for the audience of one. One. God. He is the one who has the right to judge. Us, instead of picking on one another, Let's choose to pick from one another. What do we see in one another that we can celebrate, that we can encourage, that we can learn from and grow in? See, Christians, listen to me. Let me, let me have your attention. You could spend the rest of your days dismal and dismayed if you find yourself one who's always criticizing and always condemning. Or you can make the choice to live a life that's truly one that rejoices by not picking on, but picking from encouraging, loving, and being someone who comes alongside as a place of strength and encouragement to your fellow believer. So this morning, don't condemn, don't look down upon, but be one who encourages and lifts up. Don't pick on, pick from.